welcome we are officially starting a podcast on igtv so this is going to be the first episode where we kind of talk about our thoughts and opinions on yes anything and everything that you guys bring up so today we're going to be talking about um the term stepmom versus bonus mom versus mm-hmm. bonus bonus mom um what we think about them why we use the ones that we do um and i think that's about it basically yeah but before we start that, we're going to talk about our weekend. Yeah, like just chit-chatting about what we did. Yes. We officially did our first blended family. <gasps> Ew, my toesies are right here. <laughs> just, just... You are so embarrassing. And now people are going to rewind <laughs> back to see if they can see the toes. And people are going to take that when you could have been charging people. I can't with you. I hope you wash them toes before you put them all over there. <laughs> I think I'm like missing toenail polish because we haven't had a pedicure in like... Like two weeks, girl. No, we just got our nails done a week ago. When did we get a pedicure? Before we went to South Carolina. Oh, it's been a minute. You're right. You're right. It's yeah. actually been a month, almost a month. Yes. Okay. Then yes, you are in need for a pedicure. <laughs> I can't with you. Okay. Anyway, so <laughs> we did our first uh blended family photo shoot yes and it was successful it was all six of us megan mm-hmm. and i the husbands the kids um it was hot as hell it was so hot we had an outfit change too which i thought you know hindsight it was a great idea changing in a parking lot not so yeah much. we should have had like we should have done bathroom. it in the porta bodies yes. all we did was take a photo in the porta bodies but we could have changed it there it was so hot in those porta bodies though Yes, but it was very difficult trying to change in a car, and, like, we don't have tinted windows, so I was also terrified that someone's going to come over and be like, hey, and I was like, hey, hey. You know? <laughs> So I was, like, terrified, and, like, because we, first of all, our first photo shoot was done in jeans, so yeah, we're, like, was. hot and sweaty, and then we're trying to strip the jeans, which mine were already, like, tight on me as it is, and then trying to put a skirt on, and it just, like, was, yeah. like, sticking. It was, it was a hot mess. It really was. Like, it... And then you're like sweating because you're struggling. Not only are you sweating because you're hot, you're sweating because you're struggling. And then I had to get the kids ready too because I had both kids in my car. Well, I was it getting was... myself ready. was hard enough as it is. And then I have my husband. Love you so much, Travis. You don't have Instagram, but if you watch this somewhere else. He's like, which shirt should I wear? Which shoe should I wear? And I'm like, I have to fucking get dressed. You know, that's not as bad as like Mike straight up like stripping in the middle of the garage. Like oh everyone to watch him. Yes, like and before I, we even got on the elevator, he had like his belt off and like his shirt off. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? I'm trying to like sweating as I'm trying to like uh, change in the, the passenger seat. And I'm like cranking up the AC and trying to make sure no one sees anything they shouldn't be seeing. Mike's just out there in the middle of the garage just like... I do what I want. Like, the whole world is my changing room. I think. <laughs> he, he really said free the nipple. Like, he... People are passing watching him, and he's just like, hey. I know. Oh, uh, my God. should charge for that. But it was a good time. A, you know, dad to Tampa. We Free won't shot. even go with those photos that they were doing with their... So, so yeah, we did this blended family photo shoot. We have the photos back. We're going to start posting them on Instagram soon. Mm-hmm. Um... And then, you know, we start, Dad's of Tampa is officially a go. Yes. They're on there. Yes. Not much content, but we, they are going to start posting more. So we were like, let's get some photos for Dad's of Tampa. We should have never told him that. <sighs> These men, if you guys know our husbands. They wanted to show you the real Dad's of Tampa. They, they wanted to be trash Dad's of Tampa, they said. They were yelling at it. They were walking around downtown Tampa being like, where's the trash dance to Tampa? <laughs> like, what the fuck? It was bad enough. There were, like, families around us, and we're like... <laughs> they're checking how they... Ha- they're checking themselves out, how they look in the in the glass thing, and me and you are checking ourselves out, and we're not realizing it's the children you see them <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> and I was, like, fluffing up my boobs and everything, and I didn't realize it was, like, a two-way glass. It was a glass. It wasn't even like a mirror. It was just glass that because it was so bright outside, we could see ourselves. So we're looking at our reflection. However, it's the Children's Museum in Tampa. So there's like families on the other side watching us being like, okay, like, are we good? Is it fine? Like just looking at ourselves. The dads had their shirts unbuttoned. So their like beer bellies were sticking out with their chest hairs. And they're they're trying to fight over who has more chest hair. And like there's just families on the other side. kids started unbuttoning their shirts. Michael, stop it. Oh it God. was a mess. So they're like taking pictures. Okay. 
and they are undoing their shirts, like fighting over like how many buttons to do. Like they had the wind blow, and then and it was just, it was just a mess. And I'm like, oh my god, they were enjoying this themselves. This is so embarrassing. Yeah, and we were embarrassed because we were like, I can't. Someone's I, gonna notice us. Yes. And these men are just like beer bellying it out, not sucking it in at all, no care in the world. Mike was out of control. <laughs> Travis reeled it in a little bit. Mike was just like, he was living for this photo shoot moment for him. It was a hot mess. But it was a good time. We got some good photos. We there did. was, Bryce only cried once, so you know, that's well, a okay. reward. Oh, so, well, he was sick. Yeah, so if you could tell, I'm sick. If you've been following our stories and stuff on social media, we all had a turn getting sick. Travis is sick. Uh, Michael isn't sick, but you said he was coughing this morning. Yeah, but I don't know if it was coughing to get out of school or like a genuine coughing. Like it was one cough and then I didn't hear it since. Yeah, so Bryce... He was. He started crying like towards the end of the photo shoot. We didn't know why. We thought it was, he was just hungry, which he was. Um, and we were there for like a few hours, and he was mm-hmm. just like, "I just don't want to do this anymore." So it was Travis's birthday, so Tiffany took the kids so that Travis and I could go out to dinner. Yes. Turns out he was sick, and he ended up getting a fever that night. So that's why he was crying, and then it ended up getting passed around to like all of us. All of us. Not COVID. No. But tested negative for COVID, but um. We definitely all took turns separately, unfortunately, in getting sick, and it was horrible, yeah. and I don't recommend it, <laughs> uh, especially anyway. the men, because that man yes. cold is real, and whew, yes. um, beat this man. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, you guys are going to see the pictures soon. We're going to be posting yes. it on Instagram. They're super cute. They are. Uh, Bryce's face in some of them is questionable, but now you guys know it's because he wasn't feeling good toward the end. Yeah, he was done. And he's just very... He'll do he, better next time. He just has... Like, Classic Bryce face. I he know. just always looks like he's just so nervous and just uncomfortable in pictures. It's just like, where's Waldo? Like, where's Bryce? Like, that photo where we're all serious looking in the distance and Bryce is just taking his tongue out. Like, it's just Bryce. That's all That's all we can say. It's too funny. Uh, anyway, so the topic we're going to talk about today, you touched on it briefly. Yes. Stepmom, bonus mom, bonus bonus mom, which are three terms we use. We Did we make up bonus bonus mom? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm just... Maybe that's not, not a made thing. It up. I don't. I didn't think it was a thing, but it's like a thing for us. It's not a thing because people would ask. Because every single time I would say stepmom to the kids, they'd be like, "How are you a stepmom to Megan's kid with her new husband?" And then people would get confused because they're like, "Like, what's going on?" And it's like, "Well, yeah. I'm not really the stepmom," and I'm like, "But like, it's like a bonus mom." But I'm like, "It's like a bonus bonus." And then I started saying bonus bonus. Yeah. And I was like, "You know what? We'll just hold that term." And then when people ask, we'll explain it. Yeah, I've been putting it in our videos too. Yeah. So it's just a new term because obviously the situation that we're dealing with is new it's megan's child with her new husband so obviously Obviously, yeah he has his parents you know he doesn't have step parents um he has his mom and dad together but because he sees that i'm michael's bonus mom and we do all these things together with both of the kids um he thinks he also has a stepmom he thinks that you know Mm -hmm. every kid comes with a (laughs) stepmom so instead of keeping the term stepmom where people are just going to get a confused with our story when we say bonus bonus mom it kind of makes them be like wait like that doesn't make sense and then they kind of ask and they see that it really does make sense in yeah in our story yeah we are really trying to raise them the same Mm -hmm. you know so no one gets left out it's not like you know michael gets to go have two christmases and you know bryce only gets to have one or bryce gets to go and you know do stuff with us and michael's left out you know like we are really trying to do everything the same across the board for them because we both grew up with step parents. Yeah. Um, and I don't think bonus parent was a term back then. I don't think we knew what bonus mom was until we were doing TikToks and when we would tell people step mom and people would be like, I don't have a step mom, I have a bonus mom. And we're like, what, what is, is that? A bonus mom. <laughs> Like, we didn't know, and I mean, they, they explained it to us, you know, they explained the word co-parenting, because that's not something we used before mm-hmm. either in blended family, um, of how they used it as a endearing term for a stepmom who is there, who's just like their mom, and they want to give them that, you know, perfect title, mm-hmm. something more than stepmom, because stepmom, you know, is equivalent usually to, like, the evil, the evil step- yeah, yeah, the evil stepmom, so it's they want It's a little harsh, yeah. I feel. Like, step is just, like not really you know just like add it on it's not like a very warm it has a negative connotation to it yeah i mean you yeah like you said like you hear in cinderella it's evil stepsisters evil stepmom it's always like such a bad thing yeah 
So someone told us about bonus. We use bonus and step inter interchangeably. Um, I just, only use step because I like the drama it brings. When you he when you post a video and you see step mom, it's like I can't with you. Bonus mom gets like more of a nice comments. I feel like, but when I want a little bit more engagement or the, the drama, I put step. Not because I you know they are she is the bonus mom, but. Sometimes I'd be wanting the drama. You just knock okay. me down a peg when you're mad at me like she is stuck today. No, I no. put it on there because I feel like a lot of people don't know what a bonus mom is, but that's, everyone knows what a stepmom is. So when they see that video, they're like, mom, stepmom, I got to watch this. I think that's why I use it. I use bonus mom sometimes, you know, for the for the whole endearing part. But then it's like not everyone really knows what bonus mom was. Like I didn't. Like I never used mm -hmm. that growing up. So I'm like, let me use stepmom so people see that, you know, we use both titles. But for the stepmoms who aren't sure, like... You, let me let me use stepmom here and let them know and then when they see it and they're like oh it's usually a bad thing but it's like but it's not a bad thing for us because mm -hmm. I still will call myself a stepmom I'll still call myself a bonus mom whatever um they're just words and titles to me they're not that big of a yeah. deal but it shows people like especially when we say like mom and stepmom and then people get confused and they're like wait yeah. what's going on and it's like surprise like, <laughs> we're co-parenting <laughs> yes so, I definitely use them all interchangeably. I know people have said on my TikToks, they're like, you shouldn't use step, you should use bonus. But it's like, but if you continue making it seem like it's a negative, like there are people who use step because they just prefer the step when they're trying to yeah. explain the story or if people don't really know what a bonus is. Like, it shouldn't be a negative. Like, I am a stepmom. Like, I'm not going to take your title and be a mom. Like, I'll be the stepmom. That's fine. Just take the negative away from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I love my stepmom we both grew up with stepmoms that we adored um yeah i, I could mean, never I call my stepmom a bonus, bonus mom. mom it's I so know. weird to me i mean i call her my step. she's not technically my stepmom anymore her and my dad divorced when i was 16 but I mean, she'll always be my stepmom yeah same with me my my stepmom and my dad are not together i've always called her my stepmom i've called her my stepmom when i didn't like her i call my stepmom when i love her i just mm -hmm. I don't see it as a bad thing. It's just like a title, just like mom to me. Um, but I feel like it's weird to use bonus. Even though we use bonus like for my life, I feel like it's weird to use bonus for her life because I just don't. I don't think we had, like I, I said, like know. I don't, it, it just wasn't a word Yeah. back then. And I mean like, I'm not sure. Well, I mean, I kind of know how, how you grew up. And even if bonus was a thing back in the day, there is no way in hell my mom my mom liked it. yeah she was definitely more of like a she's not your mom she's your stepmom you yeah. know you're not calling her mom kind of person so i think she kind of low-key liked stepmom yeah you to know, like put her in her place essentially put her in her place yeah even like i remember because you know when you see your siblings calling someone mom like, you get co confused a little bit. And I used to try so hard to call Elaine mom because it's like, you know, some kids do do that, how Michael does it sometimes. And it was so awkward to me that I'd be like, mom. And I'm like, ooh. Like, I'm like, <laughs> like it feels weird to say because, like, one, I don't want my mom to feel any less. Um, and then, two, I was like, it just – I feel like it takes – a connection that I didn't have when I was younger to really do that to be so it's for it to be more than a word and I feel like I was forcing myself to say without it just like happening like you know when Michael runs over and he's like mom and he's like yeah. not really even thinking about it like I feel like I had to extra think and extra force myself and it just wasn't well comfortable. you also didn't have someone who is encouraging your relationship with yeah. your stepmom I think you know Michael feels so comfortable because yeah we are, I am, you know, your, his dad is encouraging his relationship with you yeah. in a positive way. Um, and we're constantly saying he has two moms and two dads, so he's never... Yeah, he's never felt, like... Feeling bad, like, if, you know, he says it in front of Mike or if he says it in front of you. I think he's just so, like... Like, it slips out like it's nothing to him. Yeah, we're also not forcing it. We're not saying, like, oh, you need to call Tiffany mom or whatever. Like, he can call her whatever he wants. Yeah. Same thing with Bryce. Which brings me to, where's my phone? I saw a comment that I just showed Tiffany, and since we're on this topic, I wanted to read it, um, that I saw on one of my TikToks that I was going to, this is, okay, so the comment, I'm not going to say the person's name, but it says, you can be my child's friend and be around her, but you will never have any mom title. Which is... And I, I read say, that, and I was, I, I responded to her. Did you? I did. And I said, I was like, that's really sad. B, 
because and I, I use the example of my mom and my stepmom that I absolutely loved my stepmom growing up but I felt like I couldn't have the relationship that I wanted to with her without hurting my mom in some way and I've always resented my mom for that um I've always felt guilty because you know it, my stepmom did a lot for me growing up and I don't feel like I you know acknowledged how much she did growing up because I was afraid and guess who I talk to now as an adult looking back your kids will always grow up to be adults and look back at these situations with adult eyes I say it all the time yeah. and looking back with adult eyes now I, I, I talk to my stepmom, that's my kid's Nana, you know, she's very much involved in our lives and I don't speak to my mom because I realized looking back on all kinds of situations that my mom was the toxic one with like the toxic mentality and stuff. Yeah. And just that mentality of her saying like, you will only be my child's friend. Like, yeah, the whole thing that I try to be for Michael when he, you know, every single time that he comes to our house is... Michael doesn't have his mom with him. And, you know, there's days, like, even us as kids, like, I would just want my mom. Mm -hmm. And, like, those days where he doesn't have that, you don't want him to just be in his room crying or upset because he just wants that motherly figure with him. Mm -hmm. But you're not there. You know, it's not your time. So it's, like, that stepmom role, stepmom role is essentially to help that, to be like, Michael, you know, I'm not your mom and I'm not going to replace your mom, but you're upset, you just want to cuddle, you just want a movie. Like, I'm there to, like be that additional motherly support for you so you just mm -hmm. don't feel like I only get to have you know motherly love you know at my mom's house and then if it's just my dad I only get to get love my dad but like what if Mike's working if it's just me and Michael like does Michael stay in his room like awkward and he's like you know wanting to have that affection but he has to yeah. wait till his dad comes home like why would you not want to encourage that relationship so like you said if Mike wasn't there and it was just you and Michael where he would feel uncomfortable yeah you want them to feel as comfortable and as loved um and, and just just happy you yeah. know like of course i'm gonna encourage you know his relationship with you because he is with you guys 50 percent of the time and i want him to be as comfortable when he's not with me yeah as, as he absolutely can be and that just you have to her mentality comes off to me as like being very selfish because it's like that's what you want but you don't know what the child wants and you're exactly. not putting your child first like it's not and i I know that I, I try to say that I don't want to speak on it because I'm not a bio mom and thing, but like when you give birth to the child, like you don't get to be like, this is mine and only mine. Like that's not fair. It's not fair. Like <laughs> I just don't understand how people are like that. Like obviously you want your child doing the whole friend thing, like that, that you're leaving that stepmom or girlfriend, whoever it is, mm -hmm. to not treat that child like she's one of her own, to where if they do have kids together, you know, it's going to be like this whole little family bonding thing, and you're going to have the friend who's the child sitting on the couch so uncomfortable. But that mom would also, in the same sense, be upset. Yes. If her you're child not. would be treated different, and it's like, but you also didn't want me to, you know, love her and be a mother towards her. Yeah. So... Yeah. can't have it both ways <laughs> and it, it's part of i think it is part of being a mother like even i mean even see my mom when she was like upset if we were talking about elaine you know elaine or whatever my stepmom um but she would never say anything about it like i'm sure she didn't want to hear her or hear the stories like i'm mm -hmm. sure no mom wants to hear it in the beginning but like they weren't bad stories like they were good stories we're having fun we're playing like it's on the positive where she could see okay the kids are happy like ugh, i don't want to hear her name all the time but the kids are happy the kids are safe the kids are fed you know that's all that's important you want that mm -hmm. and saying that i just it just uh there's just so many that's just a horrible mentality to have it's and then that person will also be the person to be like i can't co-parent with my ex <laughs> Well, that person's also going to, is she not going to get in a relationship in the future? Like, what What if, you know, the guy that you are in a relationship, what if he can't have kids and he, like, adores your daughter and wants to be, like, a father figure? Does he get to be a father figure, but the stepmom doesn't get to be one? I don't know. The person just sounds so salty. And we get comments like that all the time. Like, the mentality of just these people. And then they wonder why. Like, it's not for everyone. It. I think a lot more people could co-parent if y'all just uh, stop making it about you stop making it about you whether that sounds actually mean or not. move on like forgive and move on like you can't keep bringing up the past and bring you you need to let it go you need to heal and you need to move on yeah period it's not about you anymore it's about building your new relationship forward as co-parenting 
not yeah. holding on to the marriage, not holding on to whatever. You know, that's a whole other podcast, but... I know. I'll have to do that for sure. But just also embracing, because I know I've seen also some people when they're like, and I've seen it on my TikTok before, where they're like, she's not the stepmom. She's just like the other girl or something. And it's like, are you making it seem that way? Or are you just like, like, how does it go? And maybe that's a whole different subject, or maybe it's not. I don't know. How do you know when it goes from girlfriend or, or other person in the significant other's life to stepmom? Because we never, like, officially yeah. had a meeting or anything. Like, how do you go from stepmom to, or, you know, from girlfriend to stepmom? Because I know from yeah. basically day one, when I was taking care of Michael, he would say, like, oh, Tiffany's basically, like, a stepmom because she's raising Michael. Mm -hmm. um, and people were like, you know, is it too soon or not? And I was just like... Yeah, I remember that, too. I remember the first time he came and said that you were his stepmom. And I was like... I, I told him, I said, well, they're not married. Yeah. Is what I said. And you guys were only together, I think, for like four months or something like that. Yeah. And at that point, um, I do feel like it's a very fine line. Like dating, could you imagine dating someone for four months and having them think that that's your son's stepmom and then you guys split? Yeah. And then like, they'll have multiple stepmoms. There, I think there is a time period. It, it just depends. Like, how involved are you in the child's life? Are you guys living together? Mm -hmm. You know, because if y'all are living in different houses, only seeing each other on the weekends, you yeah. know, you're not a stepmom. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I mean you and the dad, not the kid. Because obviously if the kid's going back and forth, he's going to see y'all less. But yeah, I think technically, if you guys are want technicals, you become a step parent when mm -hmm. you guys are married. Yeah. It's a step that's what joins the families or whatever. Um, but I remember, you know, before my dad and my stepmom got married, I mean, I think my dad referred to her as my stepmom. Yeah. I don't know. I guess that's just a conversation with, with time and I bonding. Had, yes. I think bonding, because I mean, Mike and I took forever to get married. Um, yeah. And I mean, even, I remember all the time when people would be like, oh, is this your wife? And they're like, where's the ring? I was like, yeah, where is the ring? So I was like, it's never going to happen. <laughs> Um, but I have someone on, on TikTok that I follow her. She used to call, I don't think she's with the, the father anymore, but she used to call herself stepmom in training. Cause she's like, I'm not a stepmom yet, but I'm like, I love that. Yeah. She would say stepmom in training. A smit is what she would say. That um, is so cute. And she would share the story. Cause obviously she would spend time with the child. They would do a bunch of activities. I think they were together for a year. Yeah. Um, and she was saying, she's like, I'm not a stepmom yet. But she's like, I'm in the process of learning it. Yeah. Um, which I thought was like super cute of creating that like whole new title. Cause it's like, that what are cute. you called when you are? Cause I remember when I, had, I would have Michael with me most of the time, like, in the car, and people were like, who is this? And I'm like... That's my boyfriend's son. Or that... Did I tell you that? The story that I said when I first had to have Michael with me. In the bathroom? Yes! Oh, my God. <laughs> I had Michael with me. It was one of the first times where I met him. Um, Michael had to use the bathroom, and because he was mostly with you, he didn't know how to use a boy's bathroom. He had to use a girl's bathroom. So Mike yeah. asked me to take Michael, and I still didn't really know how to take care of a child. I was still pretty... I was 20. Um, so I was like, yeah, sure, like, I'll take this child to the bathroom, and I'm sure he can, like, take care of himself, be done, and we'll go. Totally was wrong about that. Um, totally was not informed that he still needed help with being white. So that probably should have been told Wiping to me. Wiping his butt. <laughs> but he, like, finishes doing his business in the bathroom. Um, he turns over, and he's like, Tiffany, are you gonna wipe my butt? Because he's just so used to, I guess, his mom three. doing it. He was three, by the way. I was not used to that, so I was like what? Like, no, I'm not going to wipe your butt. I'm like, I don't, you know, I, I'm still new to, you know, this child, getting to know this child. I'm not going to touch the child in his little booty area like he can do it himself. So I told him, thinking that he would understand that <laughs> three, like, I'm not wiping your butt. You have to wipe your own butt. And we're in a women's bathroom. This child, so loud, first of all, he's hunched over, like, bending <laughs> over to help me so I can see his butt, which was a view in itself. And I was like, no, Michael, like, I'm not going to wipe your butt. You have to wipe your butt yourself. You're a big boy, you know, trying to encourage him. That didn't work. He yells out loud with, like, tears in his eyes. He's like, you're not going to wipe my butt. So he's crying because now he has no one to wipe his butt. And I'm, like, outside, like, half in the stall, half outside of the stall because I was trying to give him privacy because I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and, like, these ladies are looking at me, and I'm like, oh, this isn't my child. And I was like, oh, my God, it sounds like I kidnapped him. And I'm like, no, that's not what I mean. And so then I had to go inside and wipe his butt because I was embar embarrassed. And I took him out, and I was like, Mike, never again. You did not warn me about this. And Michael's just, like, so eagerly, like, coming back because his butt was just wiped. And I was just there, like, She just got, like, a spray bottle. I know. Sprayed it. I was petrified. 
That and then again like... with your second one who needed his oh, boat wipe, yeah. you know. Well, that's a whole. I can't. That's a whole... I was established by then. I could wipe the yes. butt the second time around. She was. She's. She's been wiping the butt for Bryce. I can't. So, that reminds me of Travis's first... So, Travis has never really been around kids. Michael was the first kid he's ever been around. He mm-hmm. met Michael when Michael was four. Later later in four. So, he took Michael to the bathroom one time. And uh, he gets in there and he thought Michael just had to pee. And so, he's in the stall or whatever. And he, <laughs> there was, like, two other guys in there. And Michael just starts, like, grunting. <laughs> Travis is like, what the fuck? <laughs> and he's like... Travis, I gotta poop! <laughs> Travis is just like, okay, buddy. And he's like, <laughs> cool, he's like, cool, bro. He's like, Travis is a big one! <laughs> Michael's so animated. Travis I is can't. like mortified. He's like, okay. He's like, it's coming right now! <laughs> Walking him through this whole poop experience, like, Vivid detail. The pe- the other gentlemen in the bathroom were like laughing. Travis has never taken a kid to the bathroom before. Has never even been around. Like, I don't a even think child. he held a baby at that point. The first baby Travis ever held was Bryce. no. It was his best friend who had a baby a couple months before Bryce. Mm-hmm. But that was it. Like, and I mean, he held him like stiff as a board. This kid, and so then Tra- Michael gets done. And he's like, Travis, you want to come in and see? (laughs) What? And there were other men in there. He told me the story. I started crying. It was mortifying. And that freaking Bryce, I told you the other day, he was like, what did he say? He was like, oh, mommy. Or he's like, daddy, my poop is spiky. I can't with your kids. (laughs) Ah. Oh, my God. I hate kids. Yeah. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Hey guys, we are so sorry. The video ended up cutting short or the camera died. Um, I love how it's like, or the camera camera died. Um, So that was basically the end of our podcast. The kids are obviously here right now. So no more quietness. Um, if you guys have any other subjects that you guys want us want us to touch upon, let us, but let us know below by commenting. Um, and then catch up for the next podcast coming soon. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Bye guys. Bye.